someone left a very astute comment recently saying that I never session anything and they are dead on right. When it comes to descending stuff, I either have it or I don't. I either go and crash or go and get it and, and that's that. I never really try descents over and over. Climbs, on the other hand, I'll always give at least two or three tries to a, to a tough climb. So today I'm out in Rockville in Fairfield, California, and I'm actually gonna go try some of the gnarliest stuff out here and see if I can get a little bit better. A little bit better and a little bit better by actually just doing it over and over. That did not feel smooth at all. Bouncy, bouncy. I took it super wide that time. That seemed to work pretty well. I always feel like if you're taking the, the smoothest line, it's kind of like cheating. But uh, smooth is fast, we know that. All right, solid start on that first one. Let's keep attacking. Okay, this one's pretty goofy here. Uh, all that seems doable, but then you get to here and you need to really just pivot, endo turn, stoppy, something I'm not really that good at. So let's see what kind of destruction we, we can come up with here. bit better on that one. Yeah. All right. I feel pretty good about that. Okay. So now we got the little brother to the right of it and there's still some gnarliness here when you have to complete this run out and not go over the side. Ah, that wasn't too bad. Moving on. Three, three tries is enough for today. This one's gonna kill me if I keep trying it, so it's only so much in the gas tank. Kinda. This is Coyote Track, and I don't think the video can really do this weirdness justice. This trail a couple years ago was really nice and erosion has totally taken its toll. So now you've got this whole off camber washout off to the side here and you have to go up and over these rocks which are goofy in and of themselves. So I'll do a couple runs, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. So I think that was a pretty decent line. Normally you'd have way more speed coming into this. Maybe I'll juice it up a little bit and show you guys what happens when you take the wrong line at the wrong speed. Just off camber all the way down. As a rider, you're coming into this little control point super fast. It's all super fast and flowy up to this point. You hit this, if you're a good rider, you take the left side, you're bombing it, you're still going really fast, you're in control, and then all of a sudden, it just looks like a cliff right there. It's a total drop off. And unless you've ridden it, or unless you've looked at it, you really don't know what's coming. And this one gets me time and time again when I ride it. So I feel a little bit better that this little line here is pretty solid. Now, check out this rut on the left side. And this is all just from being ridden. You can see people's pedal strikes on the side. And this is just deeper and deeper and deeper. At one point, I'm sure that was the line. Now it is not. Rockville is easily one of the best mountain biking spots in the Bay Area. It's just very, very tough to actually learn this place. You have to get out here over and over and over and understand where the trails go and where they're at and where's the lake and oh, where's unknown. So just come out here with someone who knows, knows the place and uh, learn it. 
there's just a lot a lot of good stuff out here this is cascade trail and it is legit black diamond i almost think it's a double black diamond in in my humble opinion i looked at this trail for years before ever actually attempting to come down it now i can come down it but it's always a shit show and this thing's so big that i can only do bits and pieces i can't capture the whole thing on one run I did not have my line picked out. <sighs> Man, that's tough. The features come up so fast, it's like you survive one, and then you're already out of position for the next one, and the next one. Okay, I feel pretty good on that top section. And now I'm gonna finish out the rest of it. Obviously, it looks flat on the camera. <laughs> you just can't win. This is such a great trail to practice on. You really run into a lot of awkward situations. All right, here's the bottom section. Didn't get clipped in on that one, but that actually felt the smoothest of the three. So I don't think this particular trail has a name, it's just kind of a connector, but this was one of the very first tough sections at Rockville that I was able to clean after try, after try, after try, after try. So this one has kind of a special place in my heart. And of course now it doesn't look that tough, it's not that tough, it's, it's not that steep, all that, it's still decently challenging. Really the toughest part I'm not even showing, it's the setup. So if you're coming at this thing from this direction, your speed is done. This rock garden right here is always tough, it's always awkward. So basically you're coming into here just super awkward, super slow, and then trying to set yourself up for something a little smoother. All right, I'll show you instead of telling you. That did not illustrate my point whatsoever. I came into that way too smooth. I guess I found the, the right line. This is Cave Trail. I'd say this is the Grand Gazoo of Rockville. The hardest trail for me, the hardest moves. There's two distinct features on this trail that are just pretty dang tough and they come back to back. To take the stairs, you need to get up real high, turn around, plunge, head down, hang a right, and then into the second feature, which we'll get to in a minute. Okay, got it in super slow-mo. Definitely scary each time. It's just a, uh, there's enough grip, but, the bounciness of the stairs and the, the right turn, it's a good one to practice. Okay, now that we made it down the stairs, you gotta turn and you gotta come down this pretty hairy rock garden. Yeah, good. show me how to do it. Oh, high line, there we go. The lighting is pretty dang harsh right here, but uh, I just want to show the importance of getting high and wide and uh, getting down this thing. It's 
getting windy out here. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that. When I think of the toughest sections of Rockville, those are the ones that I think of that have eluded me for so long and now finally I feel like my skill level is there to get them, to try them over and over, to actually be able to read the line, which is not something I ever really practiced doing. Like, okay, you start here, then you go here. It's so important. Because most of my rides, I just blaze through. I'm like, oh, I didn't get it, I got it, good to go. On to the next thing. So it was good to just take some time out here and hang out. I've been out for like four and a half hours and it's a great ride. It was a great session session. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments. I'm always reading your comments. I'm always trying to get better. Always trying to shake it up. That's what I do. Thanks for watching you guys. I'll see you on the trail.